Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about how to perform zonal statistics in ArcMap. Zonal statistics is the process of calculating statistical data for specified zones. In this shapefile of Bangladesh, we can see there are several zones present here. These zones are representing the districts of Bangladesh. We can see this from the attribute table of Bangladesh that each of the polygon is representing one district. Now, if we want to calculate the rainfall data of each of the district of temp or temperature data of each of the districts, then it will be completed with the help of zonal statistics tool of ArcGIS. For zonal statistics process, we will be needing a shape file with specified zones and we will also need a raster file with data of a certain condition like we had the projected rainfall data of Bangladesh collected from different weather stations situating in different districts of Bangladesh and in the previous video we have interpolated the rainfall data of Bangladesh and have got the continuous rainfall data for each of the districts and areas of Bangladesh so for that for zonal statistics we will be needing a raster file and a shape file with specified zones now we will be able to collect data for each of the zones about rainfall in of Bangladesh for that we have to get the tool named as zona statistics as table from the search bar we can see that we will select the zonal statistics as table tool from special analyst we will input we will input Bangladesh as the raster or, or feature zone data and we are giving district name as the zone field which will collect the data for the districts only and we will input the value raster of the rainfall interpolated rainfall raster that we have created in the earlier video and I am simply saving the output file we can see that the process is ongoing now the process has been completed and we can see that there is a there is an attribute table generated from the process if we open it we can see that this stool has given me the mean maximum uh, standard deviation sum of rainfall in for each of the districts of Bangladesh as I have specified the field of dist name or district name as zones so that the zonal statistics have provided us with the data for data of rainfall for each of the zones now we can simply connect or add this uh, statistical data with the shapefile of Bangladesh for that we have to go to Bangladesh then join and relate we will click to join then we will simply select the field according to which we want to join the calculated zonal data we will cl uh, click on or uh, get the data with which we want to join it then we will um, give the common field to join it perfectly now if we go open the attribute table of Bangladesh we can see that the rainfall data has been attached with the other fields of the Bangladesh district shapefile it was not present here earlier each of the district now is showing the 
detailed rainfall or each of the zones are representing the detailed rainfall we can see that the district name has been um, redundant here it is coming twice now we will uh, turn off one of them one of the field now we can see that it's correct now remember when we add something from the um, zonal statistics or table it isn't uh, actually totally saved here for that to get the this attributes saved we have to export data from here to get the correct shape file with all these attributes this is our exported or saved shape file which has all the rainfall data that we have collect connected or collected from the calculated from zonal statistics as table but in the earlier one we can see that it was not actually saved it was showing for a for a temporary now from the zonal statistics as table we can simply um, display the um, calculated statistics from here from symbology we will go to the quantities and if we want to show the mean rainfall for each of the districts we can show it from here in the shape file if we, let's uh, divide it into uh, 10 classes and give it the equal give it to equal intervals now you can simply see the rainfall of Bangladesh the main rainfall of Bangladesh in each of the districts you can see that the south south eastern part of Bangladesh has the highest rain highest mean rainfall now if we want to see the standard deviation of the uh, rainfall in the districts of Bangladesh uh, like we want to know about how how is the rainfall getting deviated from one place to another we can also see that the southwestern part has uh, or the uh, southeastern part or the eastern part has the highest amount of deviation here you can create it as a map if you want thank you